That's gross. The dog was drinking my Celsius. You say hi? Say hi. This is Murphy. He's my little angel. He's not, he's not mine. He's my friend's. I'm at my friend's house right now, by the way. Say hi, baby. This is Zoe and Sadie's down here. He was drinking my Celsius, like licking it off the top. That's nasty. Is it gross that I still want to drink it? Good morning. Today, I am going to show you um, what I do for makeup every day for the summer because it's hot out and sweating while wearing full coverage foundation is not fun. It's not a good time. This is my makeup bag. It's Black Widow. Also, all of this is like, I'm going to say slightly affordable because there are some like expensive products in here, but there's also like, you could go to Walgreens and probably be fine product. As I literally pull out Urban Decay. You know what? Spend more money on skincare and primers. Take care of your skin first and foremost. And then cheap out on the makeup. Don't like super cheap out on the makeup. Make sure it's still healthy. But <laughs> spend most of your money on the primer and skincare. But yeah, this is what I use for primer. It's Urban Decay's All Nighter. Um, I don't know, the lady at Sephora recommended it and I was like, okay, and I've been using it for a few months and I like it, so. Here we are. I also wear sunscreen. I already put it on like a long time ago today, but um, wear sunscreen during the day. It is good for your skin. It'll prevent aging. Okay, this is, um, this is what I've been using. It's Skin Tint. It's Glossier, did I say that right? I don't know, Glossier. It's called the perfecting skin tint it, like tints your skin obviously and it does like just like a tiny bit of coverage but it's not heavy which i freaking love because whenever i start like sweating like we've been really into riding scooters lately and it's like hot out and so you like sweat when you ride scooters maybe i'm just out of shape i don't know but um when you sweat you can't like it doesn't like it doesn't move if that makes sense like it's not, like your skin can still breathe and i love that i love that so so i just apply it over my face and my neck okay so i just got done applying it and you can see that it kind of takes like a little bit of redness away and just kind of like evens out the skin tone they're back 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 tell a friend guess who's back guess who's back hi sweet girl hey, buddy. and then concealer i use nars radiant creamy concealer this is shade um affogato shade affogato and something really important that i learned one i'm not super heavy with concealer um because i don't like the feeling of it on my face but i did learn that you want to apply it here and then right here it like lifts your face and then i put it just like around my face where there's like super bad acne because i have bad acne and yeah it just like i have really bad dark circles um for some reason i don't know why but um yeah it just i don't know it just brightens up your eyes and your face and everything to contour um i use the nyx wonder stick i went to walgreens and i found this and i was like this looks promising um and i've been using it and it works so but yeah i just contour a little bit i just like follow like the feeling of my cheekbones like right underneath it and then i contour down here and then I just like lightly contour my nose with this. I go back over with powder later on. This is kind of how I contour my nose. This part's super important to me because it kind of like lifts your nose a little bit, which I feel like a lot of people want that, I don't know. And then I blend it. And I always blend up because I hate whenever like it like gets dragged down and then you can like tell that it's like I've like tried to contour. Super random. The only thing on my mind today is sweet potato tots like i don't know why they sound so good but they sound so freaking good right now Did you say sweet potato tater tots yes they sound so good don't they you have sweet potato tater tots what are the fucking chances <laughs> this is why <laughs> this is why we're best friends this is why we work <laughs> lexi and i have been cooking lately we made ramen what else did we make Yeah, we made ramen, we've made poke bowls. To be fair, we usually do it at like 11 o'clock at night, so. We do. We have this like routine where like I get done at the gym and she gets done with schoolwork and then like I just show up with food to make. 
so that's that's how that's how she contours i don't have a mirror out here i feel like that would have been a good idea no, but you it's fine one? nah i like to live my life on the edge so i do that and then i go over i use the anastasia uh contour palette it's literally practically empty but um <laughs> i use these two i just mix them i don't know am I, am I supposed to do that i don't know but i do and then i just like lightly brush over all the areas that i contoured with the 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 wonder stick thanks mom she brought me a mirror <laughs> um and then i just add a tiny bit of the contour to my eyes to add some depth i feel like it makes them look a little bigger like that and then we take this beautiful blending brush that i got on sale at yonkers one time is yonkers even still in business i don't know and i blend everything i think my favorite part that i've become like super obsessed with is blush i use number seven blush i don't know what shade this is peach velvet i found it i think at walgreens and like it does the job i know a lot of people use like liquid blush and or whatever that stuff is called and like i don't know i don't trust myself to use it correctly pull it up like this to again like lift my face and sometimes i almost feel like more blush is better i like didn't start using it again until like a few months ago and it's a game changer i swear so we um impulse purchased scooters like, a few days ago i don't know and last night we convinced our other friend to get a scooter as well and they light up they're super cool um and yeah we're they are also children's scooters but they are children's scooters that. we exceed the weight limit by like a lot but it's fine i think we're gonna go scooter to starbucks today oh i forgot to talk um so i use the nyx professional makeup micro brow pencil i don't know what shade this is but i found it at walgreens again and i just like add like a little like arch to my brows and then like fill it in just like a tiny bit here i have super full brows the way that it is so i don't do too much to them and i use and then i use the wet n wild photo focus translucent powder because i'm an oily bitch and like i gotta calm it down somehow i usually just put it on like my most is oiliest a word my most oily spots We'll go with it. Just like right here. Pretty much all over my face. Yeah. We're gonna take a dog break. Oh. <gasps> Say hello. Say hi. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. For eye makeup, I keep it super light and just like simple because I used to do like wing liner and stuff. It's just too much work for me. I used the, the Black Widow palette that was released through Ulta. Just the black, the undercover, and I'll just draw my eyes out like a tiny bit, not too much. Um, cause I don't want it to be like super obvious, like, hey, I have eye makeup on, you know? So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use black today. And I kind of just like extend my lash line a tiny bit. I think the sweet potato tots are done. <laughs> and then I also put just like a tiny bit of eyeshadow in the inner corners. It just like makes the eyes appear a little bigger. Ugh beauties for mascara i use this i use covergirl lash blast clean it's like their new it's like vegan i usually use i'm gonna see if i have it i usually use the purple one i like abide by this i swear hey homie i swear this is like the best mascara i have ever found from a drugstore love it but i've been using this one lately um and yeah it's it's not as good as the purple one but it works. We saw meteors, or were, were they shooting stars or meteors last night? I don't know. I don't know. We were, we were like riding around on our scooters, as we do, um, late at night, and they were like lighting up. It was so cool. Anyways, and then we got tired because we had to go uphill. We were like, ah, break time. So we laid on our scooters, and we were just like looking at the stars and stuff. It was like a cute little moment that we had, um, and then we saw a shooting star what we think was a shooting star and then like five minutes later we saw another one which is crazy i also learned that the big dipper has more stars than the little dipper i always thought it was just like how big they were in relation to each other You're the more so you know the more you know i think my favorite part about the falcon and the winter soldier so far is that it addresses real life issues while still like 
moving f the MCU forward, if that makes sense. Like, I just, like, the messages in the show are brilliant. I low-key like it better than WandaVision. I think purely because it's moving the MCU forward. I feel like WandaVision was more, like, understanding Wanda more as a character. Which, like, like don't get me wrong, I loved that. But I also, like, ever since Endgame, we haven't really moved forward in the MCU. And I just want that, you know? Like, we had Far From Home, but, like, that was also a long time ago. I'm just ready to see, like, the next phase. I also put a little bit of uh, mascara in my eyebrows. Um, cause I'm, I, you know, I could buy, like, soap and do, like, the like, soap eyebrows or whatever that people do, but, um, I don't want to carry around a bar of soap everywhere you that I go. You know they make eyebrow gel, right? Yeah, but that's also, like, more money that I'd spend. <laughs> I'd rather just use mascara. For my lips, I bought this from Lush, and I got the watermelon sugar one, cause, like, Harry Styles. I actually hate the taste of watermelon. I use it sometimes, but my lips are pretty like fine right now, so I, re I don't use it that much. I use Too Faced Melted Matte. I don't know what shade this is, but this, the, yeah, I use this. And then I use Chapstick if I have it in here, but I lose Chapstick literally all the time. So um, yeah, no, I don't have any in here. So this is my backup. It's this, I don't know, I got it on sale at Ulta. It's supposed to be like lip plumper, but um, I don't know that it really does it, but it was on sale. So I bought it anyways, just to give it a try. Um, so I cheat when I do my lips because I don't like to line my lips or do full on like lipstick or anything. So I literally take this, this has lasted me forever. I've had it for way too long. I don't want to talk about it. It's probably disgusting right now, but I put some like on the bottom of my lip I overline it just down there and then I take my gloss or my chapstick or whatever I'm using I would recommend chapstick because I feel like it just like makes it look better and you just kind of like smudge it out and spread the color I also purchased Urban Decay's all-nighter setting spray literally two days ago so I've been using it I don't usually use setting spray I don't know people I'll, I probably but yeah that is um that is how i do my makeup for the summers so yeah i'm gonna throw my hair into braids and uh i think we're gonna scooter to starbucks thank you guys for watching um and if you have any ideas on youtube videos that you want to see from me please let me know in the comments because i have literally no idea what to upload here um because like i don't have that interesting of a life like i do when i don't you know once the world opens back up i think it'll be a different story but uh as of right now i have no idea what to do so any ideas are super appreciated okay that's all. Have a good night or morning or day or wherever you are. Love you. Bye.